A story by Comic Sans Pony. Read by Forrest McGilvray. Fall at Equestria. The Trip. I looked out at the shattered window at the dying city, feeling profoundly empty inside. The air carried a greenish hue, feeling hot and uncomfortable, but I didn't want to find another place to sit. How long have I been sitting here? I glanced at my hoof and saw the dash inhaler. I took a puff from it. (sighs) Damn, empty. Why is it always empty? I leaned over and grabbed another inhaler from the half-empty box of inhalers on the floor. I brought the euphoric chem to my lips and took a deep breath. My sister set the heavy box full of dash inhalers on the table, startling me awake. The dream I was having, fading quickly from memory. Well, I think that's every last one of them. I can't believe you hid some on the top of the toilet. She sighed. I just looked up at her, groggily, my hoof moving towards the box unconsciously. She smacked it and moved the box out of reach. Fig, how are you holding up? She asked with a note of concern in her voice. Barry, I'm fine, I said weakly, not selling the lie. Withdrawal has been tough. Why can't we go to the MOP? You don't need their fancy chem cleans. If I kicked my whiskey habit after Dad died, you can kick your addiction too. Barry comforted, grabbing the box again. Now get ready. We're going out to the country for the day. It'll be really rewarding when these inhalers are at the bottom of the lake near Grand's cottage. I sighed heavily ignoring the growing headache. Be right out. The fly out into the country from Manhattan was uneventful. My sister just talking on and on about work. Marbles did this, and sour grapes did that. I just wanted to hit a dash, but I knew I couldn't because the drug was killing me. I switched on the radio in an attempt to drown her out. Do you think this war is a fruitless effort? Because I do. Shock Jock, the radio DJ, shouted over the airways. Ponies dying over what? Coal? Well, look around, ponies. We have other means of power now. Shock, it isn't about coal anymore. Not since Littlehorn. The voice of Devil's Advocate replied. Ponies want blood. And this war won't stop until those vile zebras are dead. Barry reached a hoof out to turn off Shock Power's hour. Ugh, why do you listen to that guy? I agree with some of his opinions. I muttered, watching the scenery speed by. Well, he's very rude to our fellow ponies fighting for our country, she complained. You never like anything I like. It's always your way or the highway. I shouted back, anger rising, one of the many side effects of withdrawal. I'm just looking out for you, she spat back. Well, if you truly wanted me to get better, you'd have brought me to the M.O.P., not insisted on curing me the old-fashioned way, I replied. I've seen ponies go into those M.O.P. for treatments. They come out a shadow of the pony that went in there. I just want my brother back. Well, I wish you'd just butt out, I shouted back. A loud boom from the city behind us interrupted our argument. The world outside our chariot glowing as if Celestia was raising the sun. But it was mid-afternoon. I glanced out the back window and saw a green cloud in the shape of a mushroom. A roar filled the air like a thousand dragons screaming. An uncontrolled rush of air passed over us, throwing our flyer into a tailspin. I may have screamed. I took a deep breath as I awoke in a chariot with a tree in my face. Dash inhalers sprawled all over my lap and ground outside. I tasted blood in my mouth and I was bleeding from several fresh wounds. Our flyer was nowhere in sight. I looked over at the other seat to see the still form of my sister. Barry? I gulped, nudging her shoulder. Her still form flopped back into her seat. Her head 
run through with a tree branch. At the gory sight, I lost my breakfast. No, Barry. I sobbed. I didn't mean what I said. Please, I'd give anything to have you butt in on my life. Please, butt in all you want. Please? It had taken me a few minutes to get out of the wreckage. I spent a few minutes collecting all the dash inhalers I could find. You don't need these. Just leave them at the crash. Go get help. No, I, I do need them. No, you don't. I collected the last inhaler and put the box on my back. Limping, I set out for my apartment to escape this nightmare. It took hours to get back to the city, and the whole time I saw not another soul. But I did see more than a few other crashes. Two, three, four Sky Chariot crashes. Why didn't I hear any emergency vehicles? Take a hit at Dash. It it'll calm your nerves. I glanced longingly back at the box balanced on my flank. Just one puff. Do it. Be awesome. No, I need to keep walking. To help save Barry. Besides, Dash is killing me. Barry's dead. Images of her speared face flow into my mind. Surprisingly, I still had more to throw up. No, she's not. My eyes were drawn to the sky. Dark rolling clouds formed a blanket covering the sun. The green hue warping and twisting what light made it through, casting odd shadows on the ground. Why is it so dark? It's only 2 p.m. Wasn't clear skies planned? <sighs> I'm so tired. Just a symptom of withdrawal. I'll get through this. A hit of dash will give you the energy. Do it. For old time's sake. No, I'm better than that. <laughs> Are you? My apartment was just as we had left it, but the window that overlooked the city had been shattered by whatever had happened and everything carried a greenish hue and felt very hot. I felt sick to my stomach. It's just another symptom of withdrawal. A frame lay on the floor. I set the heavy box of dash down to pick it up. It's a picture of Barry and I. Happy. Have a hit. All your sadness will go away. You'll be awesome again. I picked up one of the inhalers. I'm sorry, Barry. I'm not as strong as you. I looked out at the shattered window at the dying city, feeling profoundly empty inside. The air carried a greenish hue, feeling hot and uncomfortable, but I didn't want to find another place to sit. How long have I been sitting here? I glanced at my hoof and saw the dash inhaler. I took a puff from it. <sighs> Damn, empty. Why is it always empty? I leaned over and grabbed another inhaler from the half-empty box of inhalers on the floor. I brought the euphoric chem to my lips and took a deep breath. <sighs> 